And welcome back to the Sports Wrap. Maury Hirsch Gordon here, now joined by Andy Grash. Grash, the Patriots haven't lost a football game since the week before Halloween. A 14-10 win on Sunday over the Bills. And now it's the bye week, a chance to breathe at least for just a little bit before the last four games of the season. Right now, what's the grade you would give the Patriots? And what was it maybe after the first six weeks? And how after this winning streak, what has it improved to? Yeah, I think the, the first part of the year, Maury, they were probably a C to C minus, and now you got to give them a solid B plus. The work isn't done yet, and they've had some things go right around them, but the way this football team has improved and completely emasculating the Buffalo Bills. I mean, just taking Sean McDermott to midfield and spanking him right in the middle of that logo up there in Buffalo. That was an amazing coaching performance. This team has done a fantastic job of morphing into what they need to. It shades of some of the teams of yesteryear, quite honestly. What do you make of Sean McDermott's comments post game, saying that Bill Belichick doesn't deserve all the credit in the Patriots performance for their win Monday? Yeah, I thought it was a little petty, and it seemed like it would kind of got personal with McDermott there in some of those comments, and just in terms of how hard he took it. I think the Buffalo Bills might have had their will broken, losing the way they did on Monday night. And, um, you know, for McDermott, I'm sure he's feeling some heat. His team's going backwards. They haven't achieved the way they did last year. They've lost a lot of close games. They've been really up and down the last seven weeks. But I was surprised, number one, uh, from McDermott. But it was, a, it was a little petty, and you could tell that they really took the loss to heart. All right, the floor is yours here for this next question in terms of what's the most surprising element of the season? Is it, an, is it a specific player? Is it a unit? Uh, or is it the fact that they've turned it around after starting two and four? Well, it's been the fact that Mac Jones has played consistent football for now 13 games. And I know you take the Buffalo game out of it because of the way the game was managed, but you figure there would be some rookie ups and downs. And there have been some performances where you're like, oh, okay, he wasn't great. But Mac hasn't had the 14 of 32 four interception performance. It's been amazing how consistent he's been. And you've seen how the offensive players and really those offensive linemen and veterans have rallied around him. When you are someone like Matt Slater, who's been here for a lot of football, say, I'm having as much fun as I've ever had because he really likes this group. It tells us something. And I think having that quarterback position settled or at least having an idea as to what you're going to get every week on like last year with Cam Newton really puts this team at a different kind of ease. Yeah, and after being in the league for so long, Slater calling Mac Jones special on Wednesday, which is quite praise after just 13 weeks in the NFL. All right, Gresh, due to your answer, does that make Mac Jones team MVP to this point? Uh, well, the team MVP is Bill Belichick. However, I, I would you, you lean Mac Jones. Uh, Matt Judon has been great and has really been able to breathe life into this defense. I might go Judon because of the impact plays. There's no question Mac has been the best rookie and should win Offensive Rookie of the Year. Hard not to give him the MVP, but Matt Judon has been fantastic. And for a guy more who came from another organization, walking in the door, he feels like a Patriot already. And we can't say that even among some of the best Bill Belichick uh, free agent signings. Gresh, you've played football at a high level this bye week right now. At what time does it come for the Patriots? A good time? Do they need the rest being this late in the season? Or could it halt some of this momentum? Now, I, it's funny, uh, you know, that they're, they're starting to, the worries creeping in, right? Is it going to stall the momentum? The fact that there are vested veterans there like Devin McCourty and Matt Slater and, and David Andrews makes me think they can crank it up. And, you know, Mac Jones is a different kind of like cyborg robot to where he's probably going to be going nuts by the time Sunday hits because he's not playing a game. So I don't worry that the momentum is necessarily going to get stalled, but I think it comes at a perfect time. You know, I got to talk to Lawrence Guy and Shaq Mason this week on my radio show, and those guys said, hey, you know, the mental break is coming at a right time. So, yeah, the physical part is what everybody will focus on, but I think mentally this team needed a blow. It's really hard to play for Bill Belichick, and 13 consecutive weeks is a grind. How have the last two months and this winning streak altered your 
expectations for the last four games of the regular season and the playoffs because uh, on New England Nation earlier this season, you and I both had them going to the divisional round. Does that bar continue to get pushed higher and higher now? You know, it's so tough, Maury, because the AFC is so tough and it's so even right now that I still feel good about the divisional round expectations. Now, if they're the number one seed, we kick that up to an AFC championship game because you get that week off. But if you're playing the extra game, it may end up taking its toll on this team. I'd love to start to think AFC championship game, but I'm going to leave the expectations right where I have them because if they did lose in the divisional round, if you get the number one seed, it's a little disappointing. If you don't, which there is still a chance the Patriots don't get the number one seed, then maybe a playoff win with a rookie quarterback and a hard-fought battle in the divisional round sets up to be a hell of a season. Patriots have Thursday through Sunday off. They begin next week a little earlier because the following game is a Saturday night game at Indianapolis. That's Saturday, December 18th. He's Andy Gresh, always breaking down the Patriots for us. We'll be right back here on the Sports Wrap.